And I just keep getting more and more guests that keep popping in. Tim Miley pops in. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> uh, Tim, you're out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a tiring night. It's been a tiring night. What's the situation down at the, at the courthouse right now? Well, they're trying to play catch up. Mm -hmm. They had a few problems uh, earlier in the evening with their voting uh, tabulation machines. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I understand that everything's working fine now. And uh, they're playing catch up. And hopefully we'll have all the votes counted here within the next half hour to 45 minutes. OK. Uh, uh, Tim, we just had Richard here. Uh, I asked Richard the question. I'm going to ask you the same thing. What, what do you, what, what, uh, if you're elected and you get back to Charleston, what, what's the first thing on your agenda that you guys are going to focus on? I suspect it will be the gubernatorial succession statute. Mm -hmm. In light of Governor Manchin's uh, election to the U.S. Senate, uh, we have a, now have a vacancy, or soon we'll have a vacancy in the governor's office. And so we'll have to address uh, the gubernatorial succession statutes, which have been called into question here recently as to their constitutionality as, in, in their, as to their current form. So we'll be addressing that, I, I suspect, fairly quickly, if not even in a special session before January. Yeah, and I was, I was asking Richard that, and I, I just, because I, you know, some people, you talk to different people, uh, some people understand the, the whole issue with the appointment of Ray Tomlin uh, and then all everything that goes into play as far as getting another election held, a special election. Some people say we should do it, some people don't. Do you think there's going to be a lot of, uh, controversy may not be the right word, but a lot of maybe just kind of like bickering maybe to see what should be the right path that we go on to, for the governor's office? I, I certainly think there will be good, healthy debate. Um, there, there will be a lot of people have designs to run for the governor's uh, position now that it will soon be vacated. And I'm sure each of them have their own desires as to how we should go about filling that vacancy. Mm -hmm. Some uh, may be consistent with each other and some may be in disagreement. I suspect what will end up happening is that we'll have a special election in 2011. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, the Senate president, who is currently Earl Ray Tomlin, will ascend to be acting governor, mm -hmm. at least until we can elect a, a governor to fill the remainder of Governor Manchin's term. Uh, just was passed a note. Uh, it, it must be good luck to sit in this chair because Richard Iquina was in the lead, and then in the period of time you just sat down, you just took the lead over Richard by seven votes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there uh, it is. Coach Iquinta and I are uh, fighting it out, I guess, for first and second. First and but, second place. But, yes. but quite frankly, I just want to serve, uh, be one of the top four vote getters, and go down and serve the folks of the 41st district again. What, uh, as far you know, we talk a lot about the, the economy. We talk about jobs. Uh, what, what are the, some of the biggest issues you see uh, facing North Central West Virginia as far as building our economy? Well, a couple things. I think we need to address our unemployment compensation fund, which is scheduled to be uh, broke in March of 2011. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we have a rainy day fund to help subsidize that uh, unemployment compensation fund, but we need to address that as quickly as possible because if we don't uh, make any changes, then we won't have the money to pay people who are currently unemployed and are receiving unemployment benefits. Mm -hmm. Secondly, in this area, as most people have seen, there's been an awful lot of drilling for oil and gas. Mm -hmm. and, and the price of gas is low right now, and there's still been quite a bit of drilling. If the price of gas goes higher, you can expect a ton of drilling to occur in this north central West Virginia area, both in Harrison County, Dodge Ridge, Wetzel, mm -hmm. Marshall County areas. So uh, that, there will be a lot of issues to address with, in that regard because they're tearing up our roads when these big rigs come in to drill for these, uh, in this, this Marcellus Shale. Um, there's environmental issues to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. There's nuisance issues to landowners on whose land these rigs come in and drill for the wells. Mm -hmm. So there's just a lot of issues to address uh, as far as the drilling activity goes. Mm -hmm. Yet at the same time, that will be an economic bonanza for this part of the uh, state as well as the state as a whole. And, and, and since you brought it up, I, I do want to ask you a question. I don't know if you're familiar with the story or not. We broke a story a while ago with a family that lives over in West Milford that can actually light their water on fire. We talked about the environmental concerns. Like, what, what do you think the state can do from a legislative standpoint to, to kind of protect the water uh, supply in West Virginia? Well, um, uh, you're going to have to review the regulations that relate to the use of water when you fracture these wells. Mm -hmm. You use, it's called hydrofracking. Mm -hmm. you, you send high pressure water down into these wells, you fracture them so that you can access the uh, gas in the, in the rock strata. Mm -hmm. And then when the water comes back out, it will now have elements uh, that were not in the water before. So mm -hmm. the elements and other uh, minerals that are now being extracted from the earth now have to be put somewhere. Mm -hmm. And you've got to, um, uh, take care of, treat that water so that you're not putting it back in the streams and make sure uh, underground aquifers and aqueducts are not being contaminated. 
Um, the final thing tonight, uh, obviously the numbers are still rolling in from Harrison County. Um, what, what immediate plans uh, as far as like for the county itself do you, do you see in 2000 and I, I'll get through year straight 11 because <laughs> I can't believe it's one of the year 2011. Time so flies. Time does fly. But what, what immediate needs do you see that, that Harrison County needs? Well, obviously, continued uh, employment of our folks, um, and that's going to happen when Highland Hospital comes out to uh, oh, yeah. replace yeah. the facility where yeah. UHC left. Right now, there's an objection to them coming in and doing that that was filed, I understand, by Fairmont General. Mm -hmm. But as, as Harrison County delegates, we will do what we can to make sure that gets uh, worked out so that Highland will come in and, and, and provide care to patients for mental health care uh, issues, as well as provide jobs that I think are going to number in the range of two to 300 jobs. So that's okay. the first thing we can do and make sure that happens. All right, Tim Miley, uh, right now, as far as I know, you're still, you're still, you and Richard are still battling out for first and second place. Well, an hour from now, it might be uh, Ron for Gale or, or Sam Can, so who knows? All right, Tim Miley, thanks for thanks joining for us tonight. Me. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. We'll be back with more coverage right after this. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. All right.